Thank you for the introduction. Um, today I will present you the Macro framework and uh, what it can bring to a user using the ARM architecture. Uh, I will start by uh, describing the Macro framework and uh, what it provides with a focus on the CQA uh, model and its st static capabilities, its support for ARM application and its accuracy. And then I will present you a study we made on the ARM HPC uh, compiler vectorization. The main goal of Macao is to help a uh, user uh, profile and optimize their, optimize their applications. Um, it focuses on issues at the core level. It offers complementary views, uh, each one aiming to tackle specific issues. It currently supports uh, most of Intel architecture and now uh, the ARM v8 family. And it's an open source software. Uh, Macro Pats operates at the binary level, um, so it's a little more complex for us to analyze but it's allowed to take into account uh, compilers, optimization, and outputs. And also for a uh, user, uh, you do not have to recompile your program to analyze it. Uh, so how Macau is structured, uh, there is a core in charge of uh, file formats, disassembling, and uh, reconstruction of higher level uh, structures, like uh, basic blocks, functions, loops. And on top of that, you have several models that uh, in each one perform um, different type of uh, analysis. So the three, that are the three <laughs> models that are transparent are in beta. Uh, one view is in beta for ARM and Intel. And DECAN and VPROF are uh, models that are specific for Intel for now. And uh, LPROF is a sampling-based profiler, uh, which is a uh, usually used as an entry point uh, in Macau. And uh, there is a CQA uh, for code quality analyzer. Um, um, the goal of CQA is to, is to evaluate the quality of the compiler generated code. Um, it targets mainly compute bound codes and uh, it uh, gives uh, ins and workarounds to to users to optimize uh, their code. Uh, it is a static module, so uh, it does not require uh, execution of your code, which is also necessarily limits the analysis you can do. Uh, one example of what uh, Macau can uh, find, or more specifically CQA, in uh, this loop, uh, this is a loop from a CFD application from the French Department of Energy. Uh, in green, you have the um, uh, issue uh, in this code uh, that Secure can catch. So, high number of statements, non destroyed excesses, um, division, and square root. In orange, in direct excesses, it depends on how the compiler transforms the code. And uh, in orange red, what it should not be able to catch uh, statically. So, how oh, uh, oh, Secure does that? Uh, there is um, the core Macau of uh, disassemble your application. Uh, on top of that, it builds uh, several uh, information, uh, call for, uh, control for graph, data dependency graph. It gives an internal representation that module use on top of that. So Secure uh, performs a pipeline simulation and specifically parts that are known to be bottlenecks in HPC applications. So front-end dispatch issue um, execution unit. Uh, it also check if there are um, intra-interaction dependencies, inter-interaction dependencies. We can infect, of course, the performance of uh, your loops or functions to give a cycle cost estimation. And uh, to complement that, uh, it also perform uh, several uh, um, Perform several analysis, uh, vectorization, arithmetic, and FP intensity, potential speed up if uh, we fixed one or other issue, and it check also compilation flag and other things. So, um, 
feedback on the motivating example. Uh, this is the uh, HTML uh, output of uh, CQA. Um, and we can show that uh, it find, uh, it report uh, each uh, issue uh, we highlighted before. So non-industrial access, division and square root, uh, high number of statement, and in this case it also catch indirect, indirect accesses. Uh, of course, with a uh, ARM uh, V8 uh, new processor and uh, what it can bring to the HPC market, we are very interested to work on that. And we are in, in the Mont Blanc Tree project, and as uh, such, we uh, have the, the, tax, the task to um, port uh, Macau to ARM, uh, to ARM architectures and to uh, test uh, Macau on, the, on several applications. Um, of course, with the CQA, we have to make sure that uh, the data we provide are accurate, especially for the pipeline simulation. So it's not necessarily the same parts that are uh, limiting for ARM or Intel processors. To do that, we use the numerical recipes, uh, which are uh, a set of uh, micro bench benchmarks that are representative of many scientific kernels. Uh, and it targets usually different uh, parts of the pipeline. So we take each uh, numerical recipe, recipe and we compare it with the measurement we made on the Cortex uh, A57 and compile with the GCC. So on the um, loops with tried one accesses, we have a pretty good accuracy, 89% um, in average. Um, here, worst case and best case are for um, SVD, CMP 13 and 14, where there is a division. And uh, in processor division can take a few cycles to a lot of cycles, put it that way, um, depending on the, its parameters. So we change the parameter of the division to have uh, uh, divisions that are supposed to be easier or harder to process for the pipeline. And uh, the only case, uh, two cases we have um, small discrepancies uh, is for um, our um, sorry uh, numerical recipes with um, mixed precision floating point, and it appears we not yet handle correctly the convert uh, instruction. Same for loops or, uh, with non initial accesses. So well, no. No issue with memory uh, access. Uh, another aspect uh, that we are very interested in uh, with the ARMv8 was the uh, SV extension. Uh, it brings uh, lots of interesting things for the HPC also. Uh, forward compatibility and uh, possibly less microarchitecture, uh, specific processing by the compiler. It should be a common set for uh, each processor. Um, and predicates for uh, Processing partial vectors, or that's way simpler for the processor. Of course, to benefit from this, a uh, compiler has to produce vectorized code. So we try to look if, uh, in the current state, uh, all uh, the ARM HPC compiler was uh, vectorizing uh, code. So we use a test suite for vectorizing compiler. Um, it covers several uh, categories and techniques that are used in the auto-vectorization. It has a growing complexity, kind of. To, so we uh, take the suite, the test suite, and we uh, compile it for, uh, with an Intel compiler, for an Intel processor, of course, and uh, with the ARM uh, HPC compiler for Kavian Thunder X2. And for Intel, it's with the ICC for uh, an as well processor. And we use CQA to uh, compute the percentage of vectorized um, code generated by the compilers. So, of course, um, vectorizable instruction, we remove uh, instruction that can be vectorized in a loop, uh, control flow uh, for the loops, and such, stuff like that. Uh, so, the first category in the test suite is a linear dependence. Uh, so, it's, like, it's a pretty simple example, but um, it checks that the compiler does not get uh, confused with uh, some elements uh, in the loop. 
Uh, here we have a false dependency. We access to uh, uh, at the iteration here we access to the element uh, e minus one in an array, but because we have a uh, an increment of two, it does not generate a dependency. Here we have a true dependency. And uh, the result for this category are here. Um, in blue, we have the arm clang vectorization percentage. And in red, we have uh, the ICC vectorization percentage. Uh, on average, uh, arm clang is slightly better than uh, Intel, which is pretty good. Um, Another category that was uh, interesting, uh, the induction variable recognition. And uh, here it had to make sure that uh, there is no uh, weird stuff uh, with uh, induction variables. Um, so here we have two induction uh, variables, E and G. And um, it's, no, it's not a dependency here, but um, it should not uh, prevent the compiler from vectorizing. Uh, here the arm, com arm clang compiler uh, performed less well. Um, but overall, ac across all categories, uh, the arm clang compiler is um, at the same level of the ICC compiler, except in two categories. Uh, the first one is a loop interchange. Um, so uh, it depends on the language, but here we, we are in C. Uh, to be able to vectorize, the compiler must permit uh, the loops and of, uh, accesses to be able to, to vectorize. Um, in this category, the ARM clean compiler does not does not have the option uh, to enable loop interchange. So, yet, I guess it will come soon. And the other category is the control flow. Um, so it's uh, any uh, if statement switch case inside the loop that the um, compilers must handle to be able to vectorize. And in this category, this is where there is a much room for improvement for the Anclone compiler. Um, in every case, the Anclone compiler report that it cannot deal with the control flow, even with a, a simple if statement or known element. And here we have an interesting thing. Um, even if the compute instruction cannot be vectorized, uh, load or store can be vectorized and here, on this loop, the Hampton compiler um, vectorizes a load instruction and uh, unroll to make a two, uh, two, uh, two iteration in a one assembly iteration. Uh, to summarize, we are very happy to say that we are porting Maco for uh, ARM architecture and can help a uh, user in their optimization process. Uh, you can also evaluate compilers like uh, we show um, according to your micro architecture. And uh, for the vectorization analysis, we show that uh, it, was, it was missing a loop interchange flag and uh, that uh, there was a room for improvement in control flow handling, especially for uh, SV, which uh, we use predicates to, uh, to perform vectorization. Thank you for your attention. Um, if you have any question. Uh, okay. Uh, so, as you said, any questions? I am curious to know what kind of optimization hints your tool provides. Um, uh, for, uh, can, can so, for example, compiler would automatically do but some for, optimizations, for example, right? On the motivating example, uh, we are able to um, uh, to tell to use uh, um, SMD directives depending on your language. Uh, we, if uh, for, uh, on loop intention, we can uh, find that and tell you to uh, swap your loops to uh, avoid. Uh, um, structure loops when a compiler cannot vectorize or some several uh, static issues we can find with the uh, CQI. Okay. I mean, the reason I asked is compiler can automatically do some of these tasks, right? Yeah. So. Were there some other questions?
Okay, well, I have one. Uh, so your LPROF profiler, the sampling prof profiler, mm -hmm. so uh, sampling profilers often have a problem of setting the right sampling frequency. Your results may wi uh, vary widely if you pick the right frequency. Mm -hmm. So how do you figure that out? How do you sort that out? Oh, Intel compiler is not an issue because uh, uh, po uh, performance monitoring unit is at the same frequency as the processor for the cycles. On IRM, it's not the case, so um, we uh, either detect with uh, the Linux kernel what is the frequency of the processor. And um, uh, in cases, uh, there is a variation. We use the generic timer to uh, provide by uh, the arm, which is as a stable frequency to have, a, to have a better idea. But if the program uh, changes the frequency, uh, we cannot uh, have accurate. Uh, oh, uh, uh, okay. Uh, what about the actual sampling frequency? So, if you sample every second, or if you sample every nanosecond, you will get different profile. Well, in at least some cases. So, how do you decide what is the right interval ah. between which to sample the program? So, so the LPROF module has um, three uh, set of uh, sampling uh, rate, and you can choose uh, accordingly for your application. But it's difficult to find it. Uh, dynamically. Uh. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, uh, so let's thank the speakers, all of them, and then the next thing I think is, is drinks and, and posters. <laughs>